there's a very full and rich programme uh, planned for 2016 here in Ireland and that is definitely going to be replicated across the United States also. The embassy and the consulates are working with the local communities and they too have planned a very wide-ranging series of events, both civic, cultural, uh, heritage-based and community events. The flagship event will be a three-week festival at the Kennedy Centre. This will run from mid-May to early June and it will be a, an explosion of Irish talent and creativity. We're going to publish a dedicated 1916 website uh, which will be available online and will take the story of the build-up to Easter week and then the events of the week itself um, to a global audience. The major project is that of a three-part documentary historical series. My hope is that this Notre Dame project will assist in moving sort of beyond the myth to consider 1916 in, in its proper context. When you get small groups actually rising against impossible odds. This is heroism, but it's something heroic that transcends the immediacy of mundanity. The events of 1916 were a seminal event in world history. It was the beginning of the whole anti-imperialist movement. It acted as an exemplar, I think, for India, uh, for countries in Africa thereafter. Culture Ireland is working at programming a really high uh, profile series of interventions internationally. I think everybody in the community will bring something different to it. I think it's our job to celebrate the arts and that creative um, development that's happened over the last hundred years. We'll be presenting work from our Beckett repertories right here in the print room in London and we'll also be bringing that work to Paris, New York, Boston, Dublin. As performers we want to go out and express what 1916 and maybe the last hundred years means to us. Whoever creates the work is going to have to create something that it is kind of on a world stage that everybody can understand it. Our first project is a lecture series. The second project is a play about the women um, and their role in 1916. Well here at Wheatmore Hall in conjunction with BBC and RTE uh, we're going to have a week-long celebration of the great contribution of Irish artists. I think great music has the ability to transcend politics. Rudi in the top of the tune, go me physic dini, go lo part lonok, part more egg dini as alban, and the herony in alban, egg and amshin. We'll be trying to focus here in the embassy on the evolution of Ireland since 1916. In Cambridge, we are organising a conference which focuses on the international significance of the rising. History illuminates the past and makes us rethink the present. What W.B. Yeats said uh, when he first heard about the rising was, I think, as far as you can go. We cannot be sure of anything about the future now, except that it will be nothing like the past. This is really a year for everyone to become involved and to exercise everybody's imagination, sense of connection. We want the message to be carried along the, the highways and byways. This is truly a year for everyone to celebrate their Irishness.